Now that you've finished attaching the gear motor to the gear motor mount and subsequently to the channel, now we're actually ready to deal with the other end of the channel, which is going to be the belt tensioner down on this end. So let's go ahead and begin. As you can see here, I've got the components. We've got a black acetal uh, plate that the quarter inch, quarter 20 actually, carriage bolt will slide right into. Next, we're gonna go, go ahead and grab one of our ball bearing pillow blocks. We actually have two of them, quarter inch bore. As you can see here, the ball bearing, the side that the ball bearing is pressed into actually needs to face the middle of this plate. Let's go ahead and tighten this in. Our 632 quarter inch sets, or excuse me, 632 quarter inch length socket head cap screws. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up. There we go. Next, we're actually going to grab our pulley, one of the two pulleys that we have here in the kit, and actually the short shaft. I misspoke earlier and told you to grab the long shaft for the other section, or excuse me, the short shaft for the other section, the drive uh, mechanism, but actually we use the short shaft for this section here on the, pull, on the idler. So next we're going to go ahead and put that right through the, um, um, through the pulley and align it right with the flat and the D, or excuse me, at the flat and the shaft, I should say. Run that set screw all the way down and make sure that that shaft is pretty much right in the middle. You'll have a little bit of wiggle room later on once we do a full final assembly, but go ahead and tighten that down. Next, what we want to do is grab two of these little black spacers. Two are going to go on either side of the shaft. One on this side. There's a second one there. Next, we're going to go ahead and run this actually through the belt. Turn it this way, slide this through the belt, just like this, and rotate this around, like so, just like that, so you can see there. Next we're going to go ahead and put two more little black quarter inch bore spacers in, just like so. And now we're going to grab this second pillow block, and obviously the section with the ball bearing pressed in on that side, you can see here, we're going to face that towards the pulley, slide that on, grab two more 632 by quarter inch length socket head cap screws, and screw those in. Tighten those down. We'll actually make sure all four of them are tight. And there you go. Now you have your idler assembly. Now we're going to kind of set that to the side or set it down inside the channel, just like that. Next we're going to go ahead and grab our, see here basically uh, this is one of our quad hub mounts here, but it's got a quarter inch bore in it and it also has the uh, hex pattern so a bolt, or excuse me, a nut can fit down in there, a quarter 20 nut. So we're actually going to go Go ahead and place them the end right here, the very end of it. Let up and grab some more 632 by quarter inch length screws and tighten those down. Rotate it around. Now we can go ahead and tighten these. And as it just did there, your, your idle little pulley with the belt attached will probably flop around on you there, but don't worry about that. So there you go. That's what it should look like so far. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our quarter 20 um, thumb screw. Or actually, it's more of a finger screw, I guess you'd say. Bring it in and slide it all the way down to the end. And now we're going to drive or run this quarter length, quarter diameter, bolt all the way through, just like this. And now we're going to go ahead and twist on our finger screw all the way. And as you can see there, it is now beginning to tighten up that belt. You don't really need that much tension on it, just enough just to kind of keep it in place. So you can see there, whole length. So now it's a very, very easy way to loosen your belt if you need to um, have access to the bottom of it when you're attaching different components, whatever you're trying to build. Very easy. Simply come down here 
and twist that on. As you can see here, that's where the hex is, so you want to have the hex facing toward your idler pulley. Therefore, you have a nice flat section there that it will twist and uh, um, actually rub against. So. so there you go. Basically, your system is just about ready to go, and we'll show you how to begin attaching your top plates that will slide along and that will attach to your belt, as well as uh, the feet for the bottom. So there you go.